We built an oil lamp convection heater that can heat up a two bedroom cabin for less than $5 a week. The heater can reach up to a temperature of 500 degrees Fahrenheit. The heater can work on different kinds of oils, which can be purchased very inexpensively at a wholesale price of $2.50 a gallon. Stay tuned because this video will show you how to make your very own heater at home to save money on electricity. Winter is approaching and running a space heater is an expensive option, so we want to replace it with our convection heater. We will install our heater in our 220 square foot cabin, which is approximately the same size as two standard bedrooms at 10 feet by 11 feet. These are the supplies for the project. We are using steel gutters for our heater. First, we are tracing out four different holes that need to be cut out. For this project, we are using a 50 caliber metal ammo box. All the parts for this project were about $100 combined. Most of these parts were purchased from a regular hardware store. The ammo box was purchased on Amazon. We are using a hand grinder to cut out the holes. Now we are finished cutting out all of the holes. We are removing the rubber seal which will be replaced with a heat resistant gasket. We are cutting out a hole in the door so that we can replace it with a window instead. We use JB Weld to join all of the pieces together. This is what your heater should look like. We had someone make us a piece of high heat resistant oven glass which we installed over a high heat resistant gasket. We installed a second gasket on the inside to seal the door. We are using a concrete board as a fire resistant material which we painted black and installed onto the wall. We used the metal container as an oil storage container. We installed a small window so that we can monitor the level of the oil. We 3D printed this support for a standard computer fan which will be used as a blower for our heater. We are using 10 braided oil lamp wicks. We are very impressed with the final outcome of the heater. It performs a lot better than what we imagined. We ran the heater every day for 7 days, 12 hours a day. Each time, the oil level on the storage container drops about half an inch to 3 quarters of an inch. The storage container can hold half a gallon of oil, and it takes approximately a week to go through a whole gallon of oil. The heater is giving off a tremendous amount of heat. The computer fan runs at only 12 volts DC and 1.6 amps. It can also run on a 12 volt DC battery. The fan is very efficient in circulating the air through the heater to quickly heat up the space. It also keeps the heater cooler while operating. The heater also works as a lamp, giving off light in the night. The cool feature this heater has is that it gives the appearance of a natural gas fireplace. The thickness and length of the wick and the level of oil in the storage container can affect the intensity of each flame. If the wick is too long, it will produce a lot of smoke and soot and a lot of unburned fuel. That being said, things need to be properly adjusted. Also, different oils will produce different results. We are going to measure the temperature at the output. It is around 452 degrees. Now we are going to measure the temperature of the input. It's around 77 degrees. The temperature of the exhaust pipe is around 134 degrees. The top of the exhaust pipe is 103 degrees. The top surface of the heater is very hot and you can probably cook something on it. If you've made it to this point, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it as it helps support me make new videos just like this one. What we really like about this heater is that there are no fumes inside the cabin. We get all the heat without all the fumes. Behind the heater, there is a pipe for fresh oxygen intake. Also, there's a one inch spacing between the concrete board and the heater for safety. The pipe at the bottom is for air intake and the pipe at the top is for exhaust. A cold front came through and the temperature dropped. Outdoor, it is 11 degrees right now. And indoor, it is 79 degrees. We have a second thermometer to confirm that. 